Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to Manuel Castell's theories about the online age. This is not a set theory for any exam board currently, but it is quite a useful theory if you're studying online media and the internet. Castells believes that we are living in the information age, an age within history where we can get any information we want online. Because of this, he thinks that this is going to lead to audiences becoming more aware. We're going to know more about the world we live in. We're going to know more about cultures and we're going to, in particular, know more about things like the environment and climate change and societal problems. So he basically believes we're going to become more socially conscious because of all the information we have at our fingertips. In addition, he believes that the online age has created these networks across the globe. We are no longer just thinking about problems local to us. We're thinking about more global issues and we can make connections with people around the world, which means that when we start trying to um, tackle these issues, we can tackle them not alone, but with hundreds of thousands, if not millions or billions of other people helping us. He thinks the internet has allowed us to mobilise people, to organise things like protests, marches, petitions, and to be much more socially active than ever before. He believes that this is going to lead to social change, that we're going to create these social movements, whether it's campaigns against climate change, whether it's protests against racism, whether it's petitions about uh, politics, whatever it might be. Um, he believes that we can use the internet and each other around the world to support these social movement campaigns. He's very much in favour of the internet, he thinks it's going to be a huge benefit to society to make us more socially concerned and active. He also believes that countries or areas where there is no internet are deprived in the same way that there are third world countries that are deprived of food, water perhaps. Um, he describes something called the fourth world. He coined this term to describe areas that do not have internet connections. He thinks that that adds to this idea that those countries are cut off and isolated and that those people don't have the same privileges that the rest of the online world do. So the fourth world is a term he coined to think about places in the world where there is no internet connection. So that was my easy to understand guide to Manuel Castell's theories. Don't forget to check out my channel for other ideas about theories, keywords and set texts.